you guys. So I had said that I was going to make a pros and cons of Dreadlock, Dreadlocks video, and so this is it. Um, these are just based on my experience and time with my Dreadlocks, the list that I've come up with about pros and cons, and for me, the pros, like, totally weigh out the cons, um, and the cons aren't even that big of a deal, really, because I just love my dreads, but, um, just for you people who may not have dreads, but are thinking of it, and you're not sure, um, yeah, this could help you out. I'm going to start out with the cons, um, get the bad over with. <laughs> One thing about dreadlocks, one con, is that they do take a long time to mature or actually look good. When you first make them, they're all poofy and frizzy and loose, and they don't really look like real dreadlocks. Um, they just... And they're, they're not going to look like real dreadlocks for probably three or four months. Um, and they're not going to look like fully mature dreadlocks for at least a year. Um, depending on your hair and, you know, how you, what you do to them and stuff like that, but, so that is a con. They don't just come out looking like you see in pictures right away. They, they take a, a while and you go through an awkward stage, like a puberty stage. <laughs> Another con is that you can't straighten your hair, you can't curl your hair, you can't run your fingers through your hair, you know, play with your hair. You can't really, um, style your hair the way you would if you had regular loose hair. Um, so, if you are the type of person who likes straightening your hair and curling your hair and all that, you know, maybe dreads aren't for you, because you can curl dreads, but not with a curling iron, probably. That wouldn't be too good for them. Um, but there are ways to curl them, but they are generally already straight, so there's not really straightening them. Um, but it, it, it's different than loose hair, obviously. Um, another one, another con, is that they do take a really long time to dry after you wash them or just wet them, um, depending on how mature they are. When you first make your dreads, um, they're probably only going to take a few hours to dry. Maybe even only an hour. Maybe they only take as long as your regular hair would to dry because they're still new and they're still not very... Uh, they're still not very tight, so they don't hold in a lot of water, but the more mature they are, the tighter they are, so the more like sponges they are, and sponges, as you know, absorb and hold water, um, and these are like little sponges on your head, so I, I wet, I washed my hair, um, three hours ago, and they're still pretty damp, um, yeah, they take, they take a long time to dry, and while they're drying, you know, you obviously can't put them in a ponytail or anything like that, because that would just take longer to dry, um, so that's a little bit of a nuisance. And, um, also mold. I've never, I don't have mold, I've never experienced mold or anything like that. I think it's a pretty rare thing, actually, but they will scare you with that. People will scare you, ooh, get mold in your dreads. Um, the only way you could really get mold is if you really don't look after your dreads and, you know, after you wash them, if they stay wet constantly, like if you put them in a ponytail right after you wash them, and you keep them in a ponytail all day, and then you sleep on them, and then they're just wet constantly, um, they could probably mold then, because they, they never get time to dry. Um, but it's really easy to just not put your hair in a ponytail, just let them dry. If you use wax, that can probably create mold too, because the wax is sticky and attracts dirt and a bunch of gunk into your hair and it's just gross. Don't use wax. Another, the last con that I could think of is that they're very heavy on your scalp, on your head, especially when they're wet. And the more mature they are, the heavier they are, and obviously the longer they are, the heavier they are. The heavier they are. So, if you, um, wet them, they're, they're ten times more heavy when they're wet because they're like sponges and they're like, uh, and it can be, um, yeah, they can be heavy. Okay, so that's all the cons I could really think of. If you have any more cons, if you have dreads, um, feel free to, like, post a comment or something and tell me, but based on my dreads, that's the only really cons I could think of with my dreads, so. Um, moving on to pros. Well, the one thing I love about dreads is that when you have regular hair, you shed, right? Like, just like any other animal, like your cat probably sheds all over you and leaves hair everywhere, and your dogs. And, well, humans shed too, and you probably, if you have loose hair, you 
have hair all over your pillow when you wake up in the morning, all over your sweater, especially with, depending on the material. And after you shower, the, draw, the drain gets, can get clogged because all your hair is coming out and it's, you shed. Um, with dreadlocks, you don't shed because the hair that would normally fall off, fall out of you, off your head in the round of a day, um, it gets trapped inside the dreadlock. So that's that's why um, dreads get thicker over time is because all that hair that normally sheds is trapped inside your dreadlock. So it's not attached to your head anymore, but it's still in the dreadlock. Um, so you don't shed. Um, the one thing I love about dreads is, okay, my hair is pretty thin. I have fine hair. When, like regular hair. Um, so the thing I love about my dreads is they give me thickness and volume and they're so... and they're not even the most thick dreads out there. Like there's people who have really thick dreads. But to me this is really thick because my natural hair is very very thin um, and fine. So I love... if you have thin hair and you want thick hair dreads are definitely a good option. They give you lots of volume. They're very low maintenance some people will argue with that and say that they're very high maintenance, but it all depends on what look you're going for, and pretty much it just depends on the person. For me, my dreads are very low maintenance because I literally do not do a single thing to them except wash them every, like, four or five days. Um, yeah, you don't have to, when you wake up in the morning, you get out of bed, that's your hair. I straighten my bangs, but other than that, that's my hair. Um, they don't, I have, I have naturally really curly hair too, so I, I straighten my bangs, right? But um, that was always something I really hated about my hair was the fact that I had to straighten it every day, whatever, because I hated my curly hair. So you don't have to do that with dreads. They just, they're just there, and I love it. You, you don't have to crochet your dreads. Um, you really don't. They might, people might tell you that you do, but you really don't have to do anything to your dreadlocks if you don't want to. Um, there's lots of cool hairstyles that you can do with dreadlocks. I, I think I have a video on hairstyles, but it's really old and it was from my first set of dreads. I've come up with a lot more hairstyles since then. And maybe I'll make another video. But yes, yeah, I love I, you can do so many cool hairstyles with dreads and it, everything you do with your hair just looks cool. I love it. Depending on what kind of person you are, this may be a con, but for me, it's a pro. Um, you get a lot of attention when you have dreadlocks, especially if you live in a city like me, where it's a very small city. And there's probably two out of every ten person will have dreadlocks. Maybe one out of ten people, even. I've barely ever seen people with dreads. Mind you, they're, they're becoming more and more popular. Um, but when I first made my dreads, it was like one out of every ten person will have dreadlocks. So, you really don't see them very often. So when people do see you, especially a white person with dreads, um, they're like, whoa, and they love them, usually. I've never gotten any negative responses um, in person. I've gotten a few online, like on YouTube, um, but in my city, I've never ever gotten any negative feedback from my dreads. It's always been positive attention. It's always been, you're so cool, your hair is so cool, I love it, can I touch it, and things like that. And if, you're, if you don't like that kind of attention, um, depending on where you live, you may not want to get dreads, but I am an attention whore, and I love being the center of attention, so I love it. Also, it's a good conversation starter. <laughs> um, it's a great way to make friends. I've made a lot of friends because of my dreadlocks, because that's, it's a conversation starter. They'll come, they'll come up to me and be like, how'd you do your dreads? I love your dreads. And I'll be like, oh, I did them like this. And then we'll start talking. And then, you know, sometimes we won't be friends. Sometimes we don't have any similar interests. And it's just like, cool, yep, see ya. But then, you know, a lot of times they actually turn out to be really cool people and you can make friends and it's a conversation starter. So that's all I could really think of for pros and cons. Sorry if um, it wasn't a lot. If you have any of your own pros and cons, you can definitely add them because, yeah, I just wanted to, you know, kind of help out anyone who's thinking of dreads. Um, 
But one thing I definitely have to say is that if you want dreads, um, you have to realize it's a permanent hairstyle. I mean, you can, yes, you can comb out your dreads and get your regular hair back, but, I mean, first of all, combing out your dreads is it's very damaging to your hair. Um, and second of all, it's a really big nuisance to have to comb out a bunch of knots on your head. You don't make, don't put dreadlocks into your hair unless you're certain, absolutely, positively certain that you want to keep them for at least a year. Um, they're, yes, and they take about a year to fully mature and look good too, so keep that in mind as well. They, it's not like other, it's not like you can just poof, get dreadlocks, and they look amazing, and it's cool, and then you can just get rid of them, and like, you know what I mean? It's, it's a pretty much a permanent hairstyle, and it takes a really long time to look good, and it takes a lot of time and a lot of patience, and if you don't have patience, if you're the type of person who wants them to look good instantly, they're not for you, because whatever quick fix you may hear about online, I would not recommend any single one of them. Um, dreadlocks are natural. They, your hair naturally locks, it naturally creates knots in your hair without any help from any product. You do not need to put wax in your hair. You do not need to crochet hook your hair. You do not need to twist your hair. You do not need to palm roll. You don't need to do anything to your hair. It will do it on its own with patience and time. I cannot stress this enough, so just keep that in mind, think about it real hard, and hopefully, if they are for you, then you have a really good, positive dreadlock journey, and I hope this video was helpful to anyone thinking about dreadlocks. Thank you for watching, and I'll have more videos soon. Bye, guys.